Is that even possible? I don't, I don't think so, because the problem is that, yes, we have ancient DNA, but the problem is that in most cases, it is way too degraded. So uh -huh. imagine we even with, we find some hypothetical amber that has a mosquito in it that has dinosaur blood in it. In the <laughs> Jurassic Park movies, they, they do it all wrong because they take amber that is only 30 or 40 million years old, and that wouldn't have any dinosaur DNA in it other than bird DNA. So, But say we found like Cretaceous amber with a mosquito with dinosaur blood in it. If we actually got DNA out of that, it would be a few hundred bases or base pairs. And wow. a dinosaur would have been just like a human being, something that probably had billions of bases. So it would be the equivalent. Imagine in the old days when we had telephone books, imagine you had the telephone book for Sydney and you just took out a few names and then tried to reconstruct the population of Sydney from that it would be impossible. And the problem is that there is no other guy to help you. In Jurassic Park, they say, oh, we, we used frog DNA. Well, that, that would be a complete failure in any case because frog DNA has very little in common with reptile, particularly sort of dinosaur DNA, which would have been very much like bird DNA because birds are directly descended from dinosaurs. So that, you know, so I really don't think, and then even say, say, we throw all of the rules of science aside, all of our experiences, and we actually manage to get enough DNA to make a baby dinosaur. This baby dinosaur would hatch into a world that is full of new diseases, parasites. There might be nothing for it to eat. It might die right, right then and there. So I don't think sort of like, even though it's a wonderful idea to create some sort of Jurassic Park scenario, it, I don't think it will ever be technically possible.